Although some of the details had already been announced, Formula E officially unveiled its Gen 3 car ahead of the Monaco e Prix. Big changes are coming in terms of power and efficiency when the new cars hit the track next season, but the vehicles will also sport a new look that differs from the current second gen design. In fact, Formula E has gone so far as to call the Gen 3 the world's most efficient racing car. Until now, much of the focus on Gen 3 has been the massive upgrades to performance and efficiency, but the car also sports a new overall body design. Wheel covers are gone in both the front and the rear, making the new model more of a true open wheel car. There are no individual wings over the rear wheels either. Instead, Gen 3 has two jet-like fins on the back. That's because the aerodynamic shape of the car was inspired by fighter aircraft, and indeed the vehicle looks a bit more like a modern F-18 on wheels. Formula E hopes the new design, which is both lighter and smaller than the Gen 2 model, will enable more entertaining racing. Like the new Formula 1 cars that debuted this season, Gen 3 is built for more speed, but also for more agile wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Any tweaks that enable more duels on the track usually means a better viewing experience for fans. Plus, these cars should be 2-4 to four seconds faster in both qualifying and race condition. Formula E says this is the world's first race car specifically designed and optimized for street circuits. With that in mind, it's fitting that the series would debut the vehicle in Monaco, where last year's e Prix saw a half dozen lead changes and more than 60 overtakes. Inside, an electric motor can deliver 350 kilowatts of power to reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. What's more, Formula E explains that the power to weight ratio for the Gen 3 is twice as efficient as the output for a comparable internal combustion engine, or ICE. For reference, Formula 1 cars average speeds between 220 and 230 miles per hour during a Grand Prix, depending on the circuit layout. Then there's the motor efficiency. Formula E says the electric power units can convert over 90% of their energy to mechanical power, compared to around 40% for an ICE motor. Gen 3 won't rely solely on batteries for power. Around 40% of the energy cars will use during an EPRI will be produced by regenerative braking. This will also be the first formula car ever with both front and rear powertrains, which will add 250 kilowatts to the 350 kilowatts in the back. All of it combines for a total of 600 kilowatts, which will be more than double the regenerative abilities of Gen 2. Of course, sustainability is also a key piece of the overall Formula E mission, and the Gen 3 certainly takes this into account. The series says this will be the first Formula car that incorporates life cycle thinking, or how used components are dealt with once they're removed from service. In this case, there's a second life already in place for recycling tires, parts, and battery cells. For the new Hankook tires, Formula E says a new process allows for the overall composition to comprise 26% sustainable materials, including natural rubber and recycled fibers. The series plans to use the same process from aviation and aerospace industries for carbon fiber recycling to produce material that can be used in other applications. In fact, recycled parts from the current Gen 2 cars will be used to make components for the new vehicles. Formula E says this is the first time recycled materials have been used in the body for a Formula car. Lastly, Gen 3 will be a net zero carbon vehicle, in line with Formula E's achievement as the first net zero sport, and part of that is strict sustainability benchmarks for suppliers. Though Formula E has done some on-track testing and simulations of its own, the teams have yet to embark on running the new car. The series says seven teams have signed on with the FIA to race the Gen 3 car in Season 9. Preseason testing is set to begin this winter. For all of the news on Formula E and other electric racing series, keep it locked here on Engadget.